Red coat. Red coat. Out of Paramat, this way. How many? You see, he was leading them. The officer wearing a big scotch bonnet. It's the commanding officer. They brought the corps up from Sydney. Father, oh, pity we're done. That's the blathering of a fool. We still outnumber them. And if we keep our heads, we can carry the day, yes. We fall back. We meet the men from the house, we. Fall back? You mean tar and rod. I mean fall back. You said you'd have me as your leader. Now I'm telling you this. We've lost our precious general. We've lost the cover of darkness. We've lost the advantage of surprise. Don't underestimate the force of that comes. Believe me, we need every man we can get before we make a stand. Agreed. All right, lads. Fall back to the Hawkesbury Road. They've started to run. They'll have to run fast, eh, Mr. Laycock? I will indeed, sir. Your best pace, Mr. Laycock. Yes, sir. Detachment! Muskers at the Gunfire. Not from Parramatta, it's too far away. What could have happened? Everything seems so ordinary. Yeah, I know. It's enough to drive you crazy. You feel like. It's Will. Dinny and the others are on the run back to the Hawkesbury. Chased by a pack of red coats. It's going to be bad. I left Polly at the bird getting a few things ready, bandages and the like. We'll come with you. Well, I'll meet you back at the bird. I'll stole the horse and we'll cut through the bush onto the Hawkesbury Road. Face it. 
There'll be no man from the Halsbury. But where are they? Where's General Holt? I. This is our army. We've been marching all night and half the morning. I can't ask the men to go any further. And this hill, it's as good a place as any to make our stand. All right, lads. We won't run any further. We'll face the enemy here, on this ground. I fear that our brothers from the Hawkesbury won't be here before the Redcoats. Well, that's their misfortune. Because Glenn Johnson here, and Dinny O'Bourne, Sean Neal, George Harrington, Timothy Hogan, all of you will be remembered as the men who struck the first blow against tyranny on these shores. This is a proud day. And I'm proud to be numbered amongst you. Because you men here today are kings. Compared with those who oppose us and those who chose to spurn our cause. You are loyal. You're steadfast. And you're true. And a credit to the land that gave you birth. The honor to lead you has fallen on my shoulders. And again, I give you my pledge. Death! Our liberty! Death! Our liberty! All right, lads. Must come into the front. Pike men behind. Ready to take up the line for the advance. All right. Let them come. Detachment! Help! The insurgents on a hill about a mile ahead, sir. Right ahead with this, trooper. Mr. Dixon, you will accompany me. And Mr. Laycock, bring your men up at the double. Stop! Detachment! Forward up the double! One, two, one, two, one, two! They've already passed it. We can cut through the bush over there. Time. Urge them to lay down their arms, sir. It's their only hope. It is Father Dixon. Trooper, mark my actions and follow suit. My countrymen! I beg you, lay down your arms! It's the only way to avoid bloodshed and destruction. We cannot, Father. We've chosen our course. The governor is on his way here to address you. Meanwhile, I'm empowered to speak on his behalf. The governor, did you hear that? I call on your leaders to come forward. Ah, don't trust him. Your leaders must have very little spirit if they won't come out into the open to talk with me. We'll talk with you! It's a trap. Let's hear what they have to say. There'll be no harm in that. 
Hi, I'm with you, Philip. Denny? I've had nothing but treachery from the Sassanach. Why should we trust them now? All right, you stay here with the men. Liam and I will hear them out. my dressing? Philip Cunningham. Liam Johnson. I must urge you to surrender. If you do so, I undertake to present your case to the governor as favorably as I can. We will not surrender. You pose me a problem. I have no wish to shed blood. What is it you want, then? Freedom to leave this colony in peace, and a boat to take us home. That's quite impossible. Then it's death or liberty. Death or liberty, is it? I'll liberate you, you scound. Lay it down, Croppy. Filthy lion rogues! Redcoats! Cut them to pieces, Mr. Laycock. Front rank! Now! Front rank! 